Hey, what's going on everybody? Check it out, it's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And if you guys are new to this channel, pretty much we go to garage sales, bin stores, thrift stores, abandoned storage units, you guys name it, and we basically find items to flip online for a profit. Today is Friday morning, and it's 7.30. Probably leave the house here in about 45 minutes. I'm about to go downstairs, make some breakfast real quick, and we're gonna head over to Black Friday Deals. We're roughly, maybe like 15th in line or so. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but the wife is joining me today. And um, yeah, pretty excited to see what they got. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get today started. I'm gonna try to get everybody in here as fast and as safe as possible, okay? Does everybody have their ticket out? Woo, yeah. I'm gonna be calling the last three numbers of your ticket. Once you hear your, the last three numbers, you come through a caution tape. And give your ticket to this young lady over here. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you guys sound a little sleepy now. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, a little, little better, a little better. All right, ticket number 426, 427, 428, 429, 430, 431. Yeah, somebody's picking up tickets. 432, 433, 434, 435, 436, 437, 438, 439, 440. 443, 444, 445, 450. How you doing? Yeah. What's My bad. I'm sorry. You good? My bad. Actually, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take that out. Are oh, you good? Okay.
on this game. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yep, I'll definitely uh, use that. Appreciate it. I can't remember if I got you one of these or not. Yes, you did. I did. Yeah. Do you want it? Another one? No. Okay. Well, I'll look up. See if it's worth anything. All right, guys, and that is going to pretty much conclude our adventure to Black Friday Deals bin store. As you guys can tell, they're already counting up each item of everything that we have in our buggy. Each item, you know, is obviously seven bucks, and uh, you guys will see how much we have spent here in just a second. In a second, the wife is gonna start messing with me, and uh, you know, she's trying to catch these hands. So, uh, you know, I don't know. She keeps messing with me. <clears throat> and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna have a problem but uh, anyways yeah me and my wife are still fighting COVID and uh, we just you know we're, we're still in bed a little bit we're hopefully gonna be back to 100% tomorrow um, and the reason why I'm doing this voiceover is because the music is really loud <laughs> so uh, normally I'll let it play through right here the wife actually squeezed my hand first I just want to point that out she squeezed my hand so that I squeeze her hand 
But don't worry, she's not mad at me. This is literally how we mess around all the time. You guys can see the big, beautiful smile on her face. And, uh, you know, she pushed me. I pushed her. I even got her pants a little dirty. So she was like, <laughs> she was like, why do you get my pants dirty? Um, yeah, you can just tell that we're, we're just very happy. We love messing around with each other. And we're just, we're just always having a good time. Positive vibes all the way around. And, uh, and she's doing her little happy dance. But uh, anyways, just wanted to chime in here just for a sec since I haven't talked this whole entire time of the video. So, uh, much love. Thank you guys so much for all the support, man. Uh, we are almost at, I believe, 4,200 subscribers. Let me go ahead and check it over here on my, yeah, on my, uh, on my other monitor. But yeah, almost 4,200 subscribers. You guys, we have come such a long way and it's all thanks to y'all. And yeah, you know, at the end of the day, we, we always do appreciate y'all's time of being here in the lives. Uh, you know, after the video is already uploaded, the comments, anything and everything that you guys possibly do for us, we do deeply appreciate it. So much love you guys. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the video. All right, guys. So we just got a black deals. Black deals. Oh my gosh. It's a long day, you guys. I'm running literally off of very little sleep. Um, black Friday deals, as it says it right there on the receipt. Um, we... Uh, we got 41 items for $307 for $7 a piece. Isn't bad. Um, we actually found some really good solid stuff, I believe. Um, so with that being said, I'm hoping that we're going to be making a nice little profit. A couple things we're not too sure on, so we're just taking a little gamble on it. But for the most part, I think we found some really good solid stuff. Babe, how do you think we did? I think we did okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so we're in the wife's uh, car today. Not my truck because, you know, wanted to show a few people here uh, at Black Friday Deals. Um, you know, Naomi and, and Mo wanted to see it, uh, and they liked it. So, that's, so that means we must have did a good job getting her a good car. Um, but uh, as you guys, uh, guys can tell, <laughs> back seat's a little filled up. Um, but uh, now we're on our way to go get Seasons of Japan to go get some food um, because we are hungry. Hungry. Yeah, we're hungry. Oh my gosh, you see that car? Wow, look at that car, y'all. Look at him. Wow. Yo, that dude's doing at least 80 in a 45 right now. That was actually crazy. I didn't get it on film, though, unfortunately. <laughs> so you guys didn't really get to see it. But look at, well, he's like weaving in and out of traffic. It's crazy. You got this man over here on the phone. Man, people do not know how to just drive to point A to point B safely. Anyways. In the day though, uh, hopefully we made a good profit, you guys. Um, yeah, we're gonna get some food, and then we gotta go to UPS, drop off our UPS package. We already dropped off the USPS packages. Um, we gave Antonio, uh, a friend of ours here at the bin store, uh, a bunch of Hot Wheels stuff for his kid. Um, and uh, yeah, so life is good. Always doing a good deed. And uh, yeah, man, I love the people around me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys at the house with uh, the recap. So, right, guys. so my husband doesn't know I'm doing this. So I'm going to try to do this on my own. So don't judge me, please. Love y'all. Um, so we went to Black Fridays today. And I'm not going to lie. It kind of feels like we got a lot more stuff for ourselves. But at the same time, we did get some good stuff that we will be able to resell. Um, but here is all of it. Um, all of this right here. And then there's a couple things down here. And one right there. But um, we're going to start with the stuff that we kind of got for ourselves. Or that Brandon got for me. Or, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but Brandon got himself some poly mailers. Because he has been sending out quite a bit of his diecast cars lately because he's been selling quite a bit of them um but he got these ones and then these little pink ones right here to actually put the diecast cars in are you doing the recap i want to be in the recap show me i didn't know she was out here recording yeah i thought my job i thought i'd i thought i'd take a little stress off of you today um but yeah so we got those and everything and then um, one of his friends at the bin store, um, she got him some Legos, and this is the 10782 Spidey and his amazing friends Lego set. And then he was thinking of me because I have all kinds of back problems. Um, and this is a Brazilian butt, butt pillow. lift pillow. The butt pillow. Yeah, and so. Oh, is that what it is for your back? I thought it was for stuff in the bedroom. No, I, <laughs> well, I think it's for your bag, ain't it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's for your bag. It says on the bag, I think. It says, Do recovery pillow, the best choice for the day. Any time of the day you work or driving in your car. Oh, you're supposed to, it's supposed to raise your booty. I guess. Oh, it's pounds without sinking or losing its shape. Oh. 
Ooh, oh, I thought no. it was for my back. <laughs> well, I guess you live and you learn. <laughs> and then we got a poop stool. <laughs> it helps the poop come out easier. Now all we need is a bidet. I know, right? But no, I got this because I am kind of short, um, and I can use this in the kitchen to uh, basically get up to the higher cabinets and everything. So we got that. And poop. <laughs> and then we got some trash bags, you know, so we don't have to spend more money on trash bags. But we're probably going to be using these for, like, storage units and stuff like that because they are too small for our regular trash can because they're only 30 gallons. And our trash can's a 40-gallon trash can. So, that's how we live. And then, you know, I got a couple things of clothes. I got some real baggy, uh, I guess they're capri pants, but... I'm just gonna wear them around the house and everything. And then I got a real big sweater just for me. It feels real comfy. Um, we already went over that one. And then, what do you know? We got some toilet paper. We got restock. Uh. Um, then Brandon said he wanted to keep these for his collection. Uh, we got a DJ Khaled 237 Funko Pop. And then, okay, do not come at me for getting the name wrong, but I'm guessing it's Dr. Giro or Giro, something like that from Dragon Ball Z. Um, number 950 Funko Pop. Um, so he's going to keep those in his collection. And then, uh, that same friend that got him the Legos found me the Hogwarts Library. Because, you know, I'm a sucker for Harry Potter. Um, but it comes with three of the books, notes by Albus Dumbledore, um, oh no, it's Tales of Beetle and the Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, because I have a set of these, it's just, it don't, it doesn't look like this, and so I thought that was pretty cool, and so I decided to keep those for myself. And then, as you all know, um, eventually Brandon will be getting me a gopro of my own hang on let me open this for y'all first uh, baron's gonna be getting me a gopro of my own eventually and we can actually use this for my gopro and everything and be all fancy with it and everything um the only reason we decided to do that is because the sale through rate was not that great um and didn't you say it went for like 40 or something uh, there's ones that sell for like 80 or something like that yeah but the sell through rate wasn't that great so we decided to keep it for whenever i do get a gopro of my own um and then there was one more oh it's underneath all this stuff but it's uh basically those stackable shoot organizers and everything and he uses those to put his legos in whenever he has them completely built so basically i'm just going to tell you what it is if i can figure it out and we'll just go from there. If you need help, you can ask me. Yeah. Oh, wait, show the Max real quick. Oh, we got the Max. I got Max. Max, Max. Oh, Max dear boy. buddy. Oh, you see the camera? Oh, you smelling the camera? You saying hi no. to everybody? You, you saying say hi, hi, everybody? Oh, you came a shy. You came a shy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start here. Let's see what it is. It's a pre assembled self regulating pipe heating cable from heat it and brennan found this um but like i said i'm not gonna give soul comps or anything he'll put them up on the screen if he sells them or if he doesn't you know <laughs> he'll let you know all that information because i'm not that jiggy with it um then <laughs> we actually thought this was pretty cool but we found a scanner metal detector it's the things they use at the airport and everything i thought that was pretty funny um but Hopefully it sells good because, you know, Brandon picked it up, so. Yeah, no listings and it was going for like 30. I said I wasn't going to do that. Oh. Um, and then we have sold several of these before. Um, so we just decided to pick it up again because we know it sells good. And Brandon will put the sold comp up there or, you know, brand new, pre-owned, all that. Hubba -ba -ba I said that all wrong. Um, and then... I found these mossy oak uh, seat covers and everything. I th yeah, it comes with two front seat covers and everything. So we got some of them. And then one of our friends gave this to us because he wasn't really looking to resell. He was just 
keeping stuff for himself and he didn't want this. Um, but it's Aoni, what is that, a Raslet grill? Raclette, I don't know. Raclette or something. Um, model Raclette. is BC-08 JB 1200. Um, it actually looks pretty cool. I mean, you can cook all things, like all kinds of things underneath it. Um, and then I found two things of Cards Against Disney. Um, we usually sell those on Macari. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, the one that we kept, it's actually pretty fun. So if you ever see these, pick them up. If you want to keep them for yourself, do it because you'll get a good laugh out of it. But they do sell pretty good on Macari, don't they? Yeah. 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 Then we sold every single one of them except for one. Yeah. Um, and then I found this Itamoro Digital Tiny Traveler Baby Car Monitor. Uh, at first I thought it was just one of those baby mirrors that you put in your car to keep an eye on your child. But it's an actual, like, monitor and everything. And it keeps, like, uh, digital recordings and everything like that. Um, it seems to be brand new. Um, cause I mean, everything's still in the plastic and everything like that. So hopefully that sells and everything. Um, it doesn't go for too much. I think it went for like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, and then we're going to go up here. This one actually really surprised Brandon, but I already knew this brand. So I knew it would go good, but it's an Aliso, uh, mini project iron and this thing can go, you know, pretty high up there. What'd you say, like 85? 80, 80, 85, yeah. Yeah, something like that. And so he was pretty surprised about that. But always keep a lookout for that brand. It, it's a really good brand. Because, you know, us, well, I, I won't say us women because I, I'm not going to speak for every woman. But um, if you're out there, you know, pay attention to household products like that, like irons, um, you know, anything you can use in the house. Just look it up, just in case, because they can go for quite a bit of money and everything like that. So just keep, keep a look out for that stuff. Um, and then he found a professional French fry cutter. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I that one before. Yeah. yeah. I think the other one already sold. I can't remember what it sold for, though. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> what is it from? Sopito. Sopito. There we go. Um, but yeah, that's a professional french fry cutter. Um, and then he also... Yeah, you found this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I'm just going to step in here just for a second. So this is a RGB beam light. If it is what I think it is, um, eventually, if I ever do get into like whatnot auctions or something like that, and whenever somebody buys something for auction or something like that, I can just start shooting lasers everywhere and be like, Oh my God, you won the auction! So... That's why I got that. I can't tell it you. Um, okay, and then what is this? I know it says sparkle, but what is it? It's like a soda stream machine, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, That's and dope. They, they, they sell pretty well. Okay. Wait, I have a question. What's up? Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! <laughs> All right, so we got a sparkle soda stream machine, I guess. A spark. Oh, it's a sparkling beverage system. That's what it is. It's like a soda stream, right? Almost. I guess. I, I don't know if sparkling beverage is the same as soda pop. It makes your own thing. Um, <laughs> but we have sold these before. It's Zesty Paws 8 and 1 Bites. Um, we've sold several of these before because we got several of them. Yeah, they, they sell for $20.99 a piece. Yeah, and that ain't bad at all. Um, and then I found this. It's a Milwaukee impact drill and drive set. I didn't even see that. Yeah. You never even showed me. That's cool. Yeah, I got that. Um, That's pretty good. And sell through rate was good. Sold comps looked good. Um, the model number is 4832-4006 right there at the top right. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah. I was pretty proud of that one. Yeah. Um, then we got Klein Tools All-in-One Precision Screwdriver Set. I don't know if y'all can see that. The sun's all in our way. Um, but yeah, it's got all the bits in there and everything. It looks brand new and everything. So, looking at that one. Then we got another Klein's Tool. Um, it's a multi-tool stripper and crimper. Um, that's what it looks like there. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and then, what is this? Felco? 
Yeah, we sold two of those for $50 yeah. a piece. Yeah, they're Swiss made. Ain't that cool. What's this? Oh, that's dope. It's a ball aluminum cup. The ultimate cold drink Yeah, it looked like they were all in there. Um, so I'm hoping they are. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Sold uh, the seltzer rate was over 100%. I can't remember what it goes for. I want to say 30 to 40. That's pretty um, cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. All right. It, isn't a ball the brand for like uh, mason jars? Yeah. Okay. Or is that Bell? No, it's Ball. It's ball, okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, then Brandon also found this monster uh, personal wearable speakers. Uh, I actually thought these were pretty nice. Yeah, they're going for like 70, 80 bucks. Yeah, and so Bluetooth and everything, so you don't have to hook it up to nothing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not brand new, but I mean, there's it no. Could, it could be open box, so you just gotta open it up. Yeah, and, and so we'll look at that whenever we get to it. Back here, um, wait, which one should I do first? That one uh, or I'll that one? That one because we're still not 100% sure, even though I kind of have an idea. Um, so do that one first. Okay, so this one. Um, Brandon just picked it up because it was a big box, looked cool. Um, but on the inside, we're kind of speculating that it is a radiator. Yes, so uh, it's like a two or three fan radiator. I haven't really opened it up, but I, I definitely see two fans, but it could be a three fan one. And But the thing is, it's it's very long, so it, I think it goes to a bigger truck, like a F-350, like something like that. And the brand on it is Al Alloy Works. And it looks like they're consistently all day selling for three hundred and nine dollars consistently, like all over. Like it's just numerous sell through rate on it, um, or sell through rate, numerous sold comps on it. So I think it's going to sell for three hundred and nine dollars. Got to do a little bit more research on it, obviously, but uh, yeah, seven dollars. I don't think you can beat that. And then last night while we were laying in bed getting ready to go to Black Fridays this morning, I asked him if there were any good pictures from black friday deals if he saw anything interesting and everything and the one thing he pointed out <laughs> was a dvd set that was in the shape of a coffin yes didn't think we would get it but guess what brandon got it yeah, look at that this thing is heavy, you like guys. pick like, it I, up like, i don't even think i can one hand it no like it's pretty heavy and then yeah. you want to open it up yeah, for him yeah but this is the one thing I was looking for, and sure enough, it's called Dark it. Shadows: The Complete Original Series. And look at that. Oh, and there's the. Oh, I didn't notice yeah. that part. There's an actual vampire yeah, in there. It looks really cool about him too. Like if you actually look at it, like the disc looks pristine condition, looks brand new. Well, this is out. That's They're a little out of order, but other than that, yeah, hey, a little bit. It's all right though. Yeah, um, we'll fix but it. But yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely fix that up and but yeah i think that was really cool i didn't think this thing came out i don't so, yeah it doesn't no. um but uh this thing right here pre-owned was <laughs> going up to like 175 180 dollars you guys and we got yeah. it for seven dollars look at that that was so cool so um and then there's a couple more things uh this right here um it's not made by tesla but they it says it fits a tesla and i think it's either a windshield cover or a sunroof cover so, it's one or the other so what model is it? is it a tesla model model three model three okay yeah so we'll, we'll try to get that comp up there for you guys and you it guys? says it's six pieces so six piece okay maybe six piece okay yeah something like that so i guess we'll have to figure that one out yeah either way you guys will see the soul comp if i don't see it then we're just not going to add it into the soul comps or uh, into the potential money because i can't find it um but but yeah so mm -hmm. If you guys want to see anything of this, it's just because I couldn't find it. So, again, we're not going to add that to our total profits. And um, at the end of the day, if we make more money on it, it is what it is. But we're just going off of what we know and what our research tells us. So, uh, but yeah, <laughs> wife is doing a great job. <laughs> and then I forgot these other three things. These are the things we're keeping, too. Um, I got me a pair of soda shoes. They actually look pretty cute. Hold on. Got to get that get that thing off but yeah that's they are pretty cute i think and i think um i got those for myself you know why they call they call them soda shoes why because everybody wears shoes so duh <laughs> this is what i had to deal with every day so, duh, of course <laughs> um then brandon got me this uh sandwich bag organizer because we all know that Charlie loves to organize. I love to organize. And so 
I like the whole boho wood, natural, you know, greens and stuff like that. This would go perfect with it and everything. So he got that for me. And then our friend at the bin store, she... Okay, so these are not Legos. They're actually called Kobe's. Um, but they're, you know, similar to Legos. And she thought that he thought they would be fun to sit down and build and everything. Um, but it's a World War II set. Um, and it's part of the historical collection. Mom, you would never guess how much it's worth. How much is it worth? There's a still comp right there. No way. 51, 51, 58, 40. But yeah, we're, gonna, we're, we're definitely going to build it ourselves, though, so don't worry about that going into the potential <laughs> profits. But I want to show you guys. I, I didn't realize I had a barcode, so we just scanned it real quick. But that is really cool, and that's going to go in my Lego collection. Yeah. And, you know, from all of y'all supporting Brandon, and, you know, his eBay is going super well and everything, you know, besides this whole uh, stressful thing about... Uh, what was it called? The what form they sent? The what? The MC... The form oh, that you did MC-011. Yeah, so they sent him that form and everything. So, you know, he's been a little stressed out about that and stuff like that. But before all that happened, um, Brennan actually treated me to the best thing ever, and I want to show y'all. So, look at my baby. So, this is a 2022... Honda Civic Sport and I'm not gonna lie I have never been so happy with a car and then I added my own little personal Harry Potter touches and everything to it and we named it daddy after me no I named it Jenny, oh, yeah, Jenny. her name's Jenny. Um, but this is the inside they said it was the most luxurious Honda Civic ever to come out but it's like you've got these retro looking um fans for your air and then you got a touch screen up here that has apple uh what is it apple airplay or carplay or something like that um they have weatherproof mats all throughout the vehicle even in the trunk and everything like that and i am just so happy with this vehicle and it's all thanks to y'all and it's all thanks to brandon you know because he really does work hard for y'all. He works hard for me. You know, he, he's just, he's an insane giver when it comes to stuff like that. And, you know, I could not have married a better man than my husband. So I just want to thank y'all for being there for him and lifting his spirits whenever he needs it. Um, because that means a lot to me because I love my husband and I never want him to be down in the dumps. And so just... Tell him how proud you are of him because I'm super proud of him. And so he has something to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you guys. If you guys remember the other day, if it's been aired, I'm not sure at this point because we record so much. If you guys remember the uh, the toy that we bought from like 1981 or something like that, um, Voltron Defender something, uh, we ended up winning this on auction for $25 and it sold today for $230. <laughs> So if you guys have any local auctions near you that are online to where basically you bid on it, then you just drive to go pick it up. Matter of fact, the dude actually lives there, so he just brings me my stuff, so it's great. It works out, right? Um, but if you guys ever have any local stuff like that, it could be a potential way to, to source if you have a lot of resellers in your area or just a new way to source. It's actually kind of fun, though, so pretty exciting stuff. All right, guys. Well, I think that is it for the recap today. So... We will probably see you, what is it, Sunday night when we pack packages? Yeah, we got garage sale. We got so much stuff going on. We're so busy. Sunday. Yeah, so, Sunday, so yeah. I guess when you see us, you see us. All right? So, deuces. Say bye. I love y'all. Bye. I don't want